Uh, you'll be using a Bunsen burner a lot during your, your microbiology sessions. A um, couple of key health and safety points. Whenever you are not using the Bunsen directly in your practical work, either turn it off or leave it on the yellow visible flame. Now, we control the flame by using the revolving metal collar at the base of the Bunsen burner. When it's revolved so that the air hole is blocked, the lower rate of airflow produces this much cooler yellow visible flame. When we want to use the Bunsen for sterilizing equipment, if you turn the metal collar at the base, as you can see, it's opened up the air hole for a much higher rate of airflow, resulting in this much hotter, but blue, almost invisible flame. Now, if you notice the flame, you've got an outer cone of blue gas and a much smaller cone in the middle. The hottest part of that flame is at the peak of that inner cone. So if you're using the flame to sterilize equipment, put it directly into the top of that blue cone and almost instantly you can see the metal loop has become red hot. If you put the loop too low in the flame, you're only sterilizing parts of the loop at any one time. Or alternatively, if you have it too high, the flame's cooler, so it's not as effective at sterilizing that loop. The same applies if you're using the flame to sterilize bottles. Once you open the bottle, pass them through the hottest part of the flame to sterilize them. Once you've finished your work, turn it back onto the blue flame. Okay. Always be careful when you're using the Bunsen when it's on the blue flame that you don't lean across the flame, and particularly if you've got any loose clothing or if you've got long hair, keep it tied back. And then when you've finished, turn the Bunsen off at the gas tap. So just turn the tap away from you, push it down to completely shut off the gas.